Good morning, everybody. I hope you all had an amazing day yesterday and are ready to jump into the charts. So today I took a loss, but I'll be kind of going over what was going through my head, why I did take this loss, and essentially why I probably just should have stayed away from the markets in the first place. <laughs> So with that being said, let's just jump right into the charts and I'll kind of go over what I was looking for, what I was seeing and why I shouldn't have taken the trade in the first place. But the good news is we did enter. So we're learning to enter into our trades. And you know what? Sometimes they're going to be losses and that's just part of the game. Am I right? So let's just jump right into it. All right, let's start on the daily time frame. Okay, so we've had a pretty consolidating week so far. Yesterday we had that nice push up, taking out these uh, those weekly relative equal highs and then trading into this weekly fair value gap. So that's all good news, but we created now a new set of weekly relative equal highs, all right? so. And they're fairly equal, so I was kind of expecting that we might trade into those today a little bit more, kind of wanting to see it go higher. And yeah, again, we have been consolidating those, so this week is not about trending moves, it's kind of just like those quick, hey, let's just aim for that quick uh, liquidity or that fair value gap or something like that. But yeah, this week has just been sort of small and consolidating, which is totally fine. So let's jump down to the one hour. Okay, so on the one hour again, so here's our new week opening gap. And this is what I mean when I say I like to use new week opening gaps as kind of a forms to see if we are consolidating. And the fact that we have been trading around, trading around, this new week opening gap kind of shows me, hey, listen, we're consolidating. We haven't had very much trending movement. And even yesterday when we had that nice run higher, we came right back down to the new week opening gap, you know? So it's just kind of been one of those weeks where, yeah, we do have a couple of good runs in here, but overall pretty much trending. So yeah, on the one hour I was like, we had this high right here, which was a lunch session high. So I marked that out and we did in fact trade into it at 8 a.m. But these are considered pretty relatively equal. So I kind of wanted to see, hey, maybe we'll trade higher and into these again this morning. So let's jump down to the 15 minute. Again, 15 minutes. I mean, we did have like this nice run during London sessions. We had our London session lows here had this nice run higher, taking out this lunch high. And overall, we were kind of on this down trending move. So really, I should have been thinking, hey, you know what, we're kind of down trending, we could potentially see some downwards movement. But something I realized, this is another thing, taking lessons is actually pretty awesome, because one, we learn from the trades we take lessons on more than we learn from the trades that we win on. And two, you just learn more about yourself and who you are as a trader. Like I learned this morning that maybe I'm a, more of like a reversal trader. Like I like seeing the market kind of have that reversal pattern. So I was kind of expecting, hey, you know what? We took out this low down here. I'm kind of expecting it to take out these relative equal highs now. Of course, we are just kind of co consolidated this morning. So I mean, it, again, it was probably just not the best day to take a trade. So let's jump down to the five minute. All right, so again, we had this kind of nice push higher before we had this sort of displacement run down after taking out these lunch highs from yesterday. Displacement down, breaking market structure, breaking market structure here, taking out this sell side liquidity. That's when I was like, hey, you know what? We took out those New York PM session lows. We're probably gonna wanna take out these relative equal highs up here or even trade back into this new week opening gap like that's kind of what I was expecting again you can kind of see like the movement this morning is not ideal and definitely not something I prefer trading in but we did get into a trade anyways 
you live and you learn, right? So I had this five minute fair value gap marked out. We came up into it. So we traded down lower off of this new week opening gap at 9.30, came back up into this five minute fair value gap, traded lower. We didn't take out this low. I was like, okay, these are all good signs. Traded higher, broke this market structure right here came back down into this five minute fair value gap and I was like, okay, like, let's go, you know, let's go higher now, right? Push higher. We came right back into this five minute fair value gap before dropping lower. So, and then eventually taking out those lows. And now again, we're just kind of been consolidating this morning. And so my trade was right here off this five minute fair value gap with the five point stop loss. I was aiming for these new week opening gaps but also this lunch high, which would have been those e relative equal highs. Of course, the market came down. We got stopped right at this five minute fair value gap right here before dropping down again and then taking out these lows. So what can you do, right? You can't win them all. I'm just happy we did get into a trade, even though it didn't play out in our favor I'm still learning and I'm still grateful that we were able to get into a trade and I'm not going to let that determine my future trading career. Like over the span of a hundred trades, like this trade doesn't even matter. Right? So that's totally fine. Uh, so one thing I wanted to show you guys too was the other indices. So I like looking at them on the five minute chart. I go from five to 15 minutes. But as you can see, this is the Dow. We are trading higher, you know, making new highs, making new highs, and continuing to make new highs. So on the Dow, we are going higher. But on the NASDAQ, we have been going lower, lower, making new lows, making new lows, and going lower. So right away, like, that should have been a sign to me, hey, the Dow is going higher, the NAS is going lower, these are not in sync. And then look at how the ES plays out. We are just in the middle of it. So right there, seeing these two indices right there move like this, I should have been like, hey, you know what? It's probably going to be a consolidating day. It's probably not going to be the best day to trade because we're not moving with each other. We are not moving in sync. We are just, something is going on and we are just not moving together. So who knows, hopefully tomorrow will bring us some more movement or even next week will bring us some more movement. It is December 1st tomorrow, so it's a new month. And December is our rollover month too. So halfway through December, we'll be trading our contracts into, into the March contracts. So very exciting stuff, but today I did take a loss. Yes, I learned from it, so was it really a loss? I think it was a lesson. So I took a lesson and we just kind of validated the reasonings why we don't trade when the Dow is going higher and the Nasdaq's going lower because then you get price action like this. <laughs> so am I upset? A little for sure, but I'm not gonna dwell over it and it's not gonna stop me from entering into another trade. So. Thought I would share that with you guys. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Even though we did take a lesson, we still learned. So I'd say it's a win in my books. All right, I'll leave that there for today and I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you have an amazing day and uh, yes, December 1st tomorrow, let's go. All right guys, have a good evening. Bye for now.